At the dawn of the atomic age, the U.S. military invested in testing and deploying a number of nuclear weapon systems. They already had bombs capable of being delivered by aircraft, but wanted to extend their nuclear capability to artillery. A weapons designer named Robert Schwartz was given the task to create the world's first atomic cannon. Because early atomic warheads were very bulky, the cannon would have to be able to fire an enormous shell. Schwartz started by looking at a German gun nicknamed Anzio Anni. This weapon had been used to effectively oppose Allied troops in Italy in 1944 by dropping huge 280mm shells on the beachhead at Anzio. The German gun was so long and heavy it was mounted on two railroad cars and had to be pulled behind a train. After the war, one of these guns was shipped to the U.S. where Schwartz was able to get a close look at it. Schwartz used a similar design on his weapon, designated the M65. To make it transportable over regular roads, he changed the railroad cars to two independently steerable trucks called Prime Movers. The M65, in reference to the German gun, was soon nicknamed Atomic Annie. In total, 20 of these massive 84-ton weapons were built. As a final test, the M65 was taken to the Nevada Proving Grounds, where it became the only cannon to ever fire a nuclear shell. On the morning of May 25, 1953, one of the M65s, after having been disconnected from its prime movements, was loaded with a 15-kiloton W9 warhead. Behind this was packed the high explosives that would propel the shell on a ballistic path to a target seven miles away. After the shell was loaded and the gun elevated at the proper angle, the firing crew scrambled to the safety of a trench. The test was successful, however the M65 was obsolete before it was even deployed. The shrinking size of warheads allowed smaller, more mobile artillery to also launch nuclear weapons. Soon missile and fighter-bomber based devices were also on the scene. Within 10 years, the atomic antis were retired from service.